years and eight months of unbelievable grief and emotional and mental chaos. And it was truly, you wouldn't believe it, but it was truly relief to finally be at the end of this and have peace for all of our family. Nicholas was, he lived with Larry and I until he was about 10 and then he went with his mom and he would come back and forth and live with us. And Nicholas was not the pictures that we've seen except the smile and the beautiful blue eyes. Uh, Nicholas was uh, very intelligent. Uh, he played the guitar and he wrote songs. And he rode horses. And we all showed horses together, he and his older brother. And uh, actually before he got murdered, he uh, had picked out a new coat that he was gonna start breaking. And I'm trying to do that, get that done for him now. And uh, Nicholas was a tender-hearted, and he loved family. And if he was your friend, he was a true friend. But, you know, we all know that Nicholas made some bad choices too that took him to the place where he was. But I know that if he could be here today, he would forgive all these people because that's how Nick's heart was. And we loved him deeply and we miss him more than words can say. Uh, you know, you're human. Uh, feelings wanted to take control, but we know the best thing was to act with integrity and respect. And then before it was over, my husband and I both had compassion for Adam, for his life is over too.